All right, good morning. My name is Jason Lehman. I'm the marketing team lead at Fishbowl Solutions. Happy to be joined by my partner at Oracle, Sterling Dunham. Hey, Sterling. Hey, Jason. Good morning, my friend. And today we're going to talk about how chatbots can help increase sales rep productivity by 15 to 30 percent. So just to level set, the reason we're holding this webinar and we feel that this topic is of interest is because at Fishbowl, at Oracle, at most organizations, sales is really the important process to really drive revenue and make companies, help companies sell the solutions that they have. So sales reps have a lot of different tasks and processes that take away from the actual selling component and so we want to show you and introduce how chatbots can be that virtual sales assistant to really help sales reps and managers reduce a lot of those administrative tasks. So with that discussion, we're also going to show you the chatbots that Fishbowl and Oracle have built out for sales enablement, really give you that day in the life experience of you're a rep, you're on the go, you have a lot of things to do, to get ready for your day. You're gonna be making some phone calls. You have to share some forecast and pipeline information with your manager and how a chatbot can help you do that. And then show you how with Fishbowl's framework, chatbot framework that's been built on top of the Oracle Autonomous Mobile Cloud Enterprise platform and the intelligent chatbots feature, really how Fishbowl and Oracle partner to deliver purpose-built sales chatbots. So what are some of the problems that we've seen on the sales side from a sales effectiveness and efficiency standpoint? One of them is sales reps are just, you know, coming in, especially new reps, it takes a long time for them to be onboarded. And what, what we mean by that is there's a lot of sales training they have to go through. There's a lot of technology they might have to learn. And there's, then there's just the sales process of actually selling. It's more than just making phone calls and entering contact information into our CRM system. There's a lot that goes on with that overall process. And so really to get them up to speed with all that, industry data suggests that it takes about seven months for that new rep to get fully onboarded. So they're onboarded. They're still hindered by the fact that the information they need to sell effectively, it could be contained in many different systems. So again, based on industry data, most sales reps are accessing up to eight different systems to get that information. That could be your CRM system, your ERP system, that could be Oracle CPQ, content management systems, you know, wherever information might be stored to help them sell effectively. It's in, in a multitude of systems. And so what sales reps are up against, what they find themselves battling every day is they want to schedule meetings. They want to make phone calls, schedule meetings, discuss the solutions and the business problems that the customers are having, but they're finding themselves, you know, going between different tasks and all this administration overhead that, and again, with the industry data suggests that about 70% of all reps are unprepared for meetings. So that means you're coming in, to a meeting and you're not giving it your best shot, you're not putting your best foot forward because you're just really unprepared. Perhaps you don't know the account history very well. There might be some problems at the account. You're just not aware of all the various things that go into really providing that value add sell to the customer. And so that's part of the problem as well is that you sales reps get these customer requests and that really takes away from the amount of, op amount of time that sales reps have to sell. So your current customers, it's, it's great, but they might be calling you for, you know, how do I get a hold of support? Or, you know, how do I issue a support ticket? Or when does my maintenance end? Or, you know, just in general inquiries that they have around the solutions that have been sold to them. And the, all that administration for the account, again, just takes away from your time that you can have selling. And so what that leads to is, you know, sales reps are stressed out and 
again, with industry data suggesting that a, a, a rep within a year, 12% of them won't make it through their first year. So all the things that have been highlighted above just compound the stress level that these reps are having, all of you, and they want to see if there's a different opportunity out there. So within that first year, they might be actually looking to go to another organization and sell there. So why we're here today is really to discuss how chatbots can help. So we're going to introduce four different scenarios where a chatbot can be used to provide information to the reps to really take some of that administration, administrative burden away from them and really help them just focus on selling as effectively as possible. So one way a chatbot can help is that it can be used to help reps launch camp campaigns. So as you're, if you're a rep, obviously you know you need sales assets and sales collateral to launch campaigns to talk to customers. So if you're looking for marketing collateral, you know, even brochures, presentations, videos, whatever it might be, a chatbot can help you find where that content is stored so that you can review it and even share it with customers. As well as you can look at from the various information systems your organization has, the chatbot can be integrated with any of that marketing automation or CRM system to see the success that you've had with past campaigns. So whatever your campaign might be that you've ran in the past, you can take a look back and say, well, those campaigns work. Maybe we should do something like that again, showing you the various leads that were created, opportunities that came from that campaign. Chatbots can help also help with pre-call planning. So as you're looking at your task for the day and you want to call an account, again, you're gonna really wanna know and have that 360 degree view of the account. So what problems have has the account had in terms of maybe a solution that was sold to them, they're having issues with it, they've, in, they've uh, entered support tickets into the system, you're not aware of all the key contacts that are at the account anymore, you wanna view the account history in terms of what's been sold there or the opportunities that have been created. And a chatbot can really help with all of that. Or maybe you're visiting a customer and you got a long, your organization has a long list of various products. And some of those products, that pricing is customer specific. So you're in a meeting with a customer, you want the, you want to provide you know, real-time pricing and product availability information to them, and you just don't have that. So what you have to do is call your help desk, try to get that information. So we're gonna show you how a chatbot can help with that as well. And again, really it's just coming down to if, if you're going to save reps 15 to 30% of the time and help them sell more effectively, you gotta take away some of the, the manual sales administration that they have to do. A lot of that is really just that data entry component. And a lot of it is done after you might make a note about an account follow-up and so you have to do this you know, at various times of the day, that information might not get in, and get in when it's needed for others to review. And so we're gonna show you how a chatbot can really help get that information into the system, make it visible, and then really help you at, from an assistance standpoint, stay on task for the day and be aware of what you need to, what you need to accomplish. So before we go any further, just kind of level set on what chatbots are. And there's really two types. Task-oriented chatbot is really just you're, you're interacting with it to get information. And think of an FAQ. So you have a question about, you know, what are the hours of your store? What number do I need to call to get support? You know, it's, it's very structured in the interaction. So you input a question, you get an answer, and these usually are very simple answers, and then you can go forward with your next task. There's also chatbots that are more data-driven. So these would be chatbots that would be integrated with the back-end system, back system. The example we're sharing here is kind of a personal HR assistant. So imagine, if you will, you're, you're a sales rep, you just got promoted, hey, you get to get order new business cards. Well, you could use this chatbot to uh, get the, facilitate the printing of those new cards with your new title. And the, the chatbot would be integrated with the back-end human resources or HCM system to pull your new information, including your new title, facilitate and give you kind of a snapshot or a, 
a thumbnail view of what that new business card will look like, and then it can actually facilitate the printing of that card, get it off to the appropriate printer that's in the system to have those, print, those cards printed for you and then delivered. So those are really the two different types of chatbots. And as you think about a chatbot, just remember that it's, it's really this computer program. And it's going to be backed by artificial intelligence and machine learning that over time, based on what the dialogues have been, it's just going to get smarter. So why chatbots and why now? So the biggest thing is almost everyone has a smartphone. And as part of that smartphone, you know, having that smartphone, you always have it with you. So you're really always on. So in this connected world, there's really no, there's really no, um, as you look at, you know, carrying your phone around, you can interact with someone at all hours of the day. Another reason for chatbots becoming more and more popular is there's app fatigue. So I'm sure we've all used apps. There's probably multiple apps on your, on your phone right now. Industry data suggests that only 3% of those apps are able to retain the users. So there's a lot of app fatigue. You might be excited about an app, but then you just forget about it. Then you have to, it has to go through an update process. And then over time, you might have to manage the storage on your phone. And so you have to delete apps. However, messaging is the most used app. So again, in this hyper-connected world that we live in, 900 million. So if you include Facebook and the, um, the messenger component of, of Facebook, over 900 million people are using that today. So they, that just points to the fact that people want to have conversations. They want to message and interact and engage with others. So they, they expect kind of that back and forth dialogue in real time to ask questions and just really engage with other people. And so as customers and organizations look at engaging with their, with their customer base or their partners, they understand that they really have to provide that 20, 24 by 7 level of engagement. And so when they consider how they're going to make sure that they can offer that, chatbots have become very popular. So a chatbot that might be on their website where people can post questions there, even ask about ticket status or delivery status, whatever it might be. Call centers have chosen to augment some of that support service with a chatbot. So what Fishbowl Solutions has done is really taken Oracle's mobile autonomous cloud enterprise platform with the chatbot feature and built purpose-built chatbots for various business problems, including sales enablement. And so we'll show a flavor of that today in the demo, but if you think about where a chatbot can be used and where you can deploy it, it can be used within a website, as I mentioned. It could be used within a collaboration system like Slack. It could be used on an enterprise employee portal. It could even be used within Facebook. So again, we've provided the UI component for the chatbot to be integrated with those systems. And then we just really took that platform and extended it with additional features. We've added location sharing. You can store user information. There's a custom analytics component. So there is some analytics that come out of the box with the chatbot component of Oracle's mobile cloud, but you can also use other analytics that are available and third-party analytics that are available. Another thing, and we're going to show this in the demo today, is there's a custom chat client. So you can actually do voice to text. So think about yourself again as a sales rep. You're on the go. You don't have time to pull out your laptop or you might not have it with you, but you do have your smartphone. You have your mobile device. You want to get information entered into a system. You could use the chatbot to do that. So really, with what's available from Oracle and our Atlas, Atlas chatbot component, we're really giving you this, this chatbot that's been purpose-built for sales enablement to help you sell as effectively as possible. 
So let's just consider a day in the life for an example. And I was highlighting this a little bit earlier. So you're meeting with the customer. The customer gives you a question about, you know, I want more information about this part. You know, what's the cost of that? I'm interested in ordering more of that. What's the availability? So on the left there, if you didn't have a chat bot, typical process would be your sale. You would call into your help desk and you would talk to someone the customer service representative would log into the system. It could be any back-end ERP system like eBusiness Suite or Oracle Financials or, or um, SAP, whatever it might be. They need to log in, find that part information, pricing for that, for that product, and then go through kind of a form entry to get pricing, customer-specific pricing information for that product. And so you're waiting, the customer's waiting, who knows how long this is going to take and if you're able to actually get through to the CSR the first time, you might be put on hold. So again, these type of calls, you're not only, you're having to wait for the information, the customer's waiting for the information. You know, so, somewhat of a very simple question regarding product pricing it has to be made to the call desk so you're, as an organization, driving up your, your help desk cost. And so that just all leads to really a, a poor customer experience. And depending on the wait time, maybe it's something that you're not able to give to the customer right there. Um, you know, hours could go by or even a day that might even lead to a lost sale. So now consider that scenario with a chatbot. So with a chatbot, you have your mobile device. You can text and interact with the chatbot through a messenger service, you know, a phone or even a portal and ask, you know, what is the pricing information for, or um, pricing information for a specific, specific part for um, a customer. And so the chatbot would respond, it, the chatbot would be integrated with the backend system to pull that information and make it visible to you, all in context of, you know, your, your device or your application. And so right there with the customer, you're able to share that information you can also facilitate the ordering of that information. So if the customer um, on, their, on their behalf, you could actually order that, order that uh, part or product information right there. So again, what you took is you know, maybe 10, 15, an hour, or even a day type scenario where you're trying to get pricing and product, inf product availability information back to a customer, and you took that down to a very, very uh, um, streamlined interaction where you're just asking for that information. And so you're not having to place that call to the help desk. So you're going to drive down that cost. You're actually walling the customer. You're giving them that real time experience of getting them the information they need. And there's even an opportunity that that could lead to a sales order. So just kind of comparing those two different scenarios should kind of paint a picture for you of how a chatbot could help. So I'm going to switch over to a demo now. And I'm going to take you through a few different scenarios that a chatbot can help with a sales um, scenario. So we highlighted four of those earlier. I want to show kind of how those would those scenarios would work in a real life scenario. So I'm going to show how you could retrieve sales assets, so some of that campaign management. You can look up account information, and the integration we're showing will be shown here is with Salesforce where you're able to look up history, contact information, enter new contact information. And then I'm also going to share kind of the last scenario, the day in life scenario we, I just discussed, where you're looking up product pricing and availability information. So this demo that we're showing, so this is in a website, could also be a portal, but you could also have ex this experience on your mobile device. And as I mentioned earlier, please keep in mind that, that 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 UI can be a website. Again, it could be your mobile device. It could be a collaboration system. And then the integrations are really can all be built in as well. So that's part of the value add of the chatbot that Fishbowl provides is we have some of those integrations built out, and we can build out your integration as well. So Sales Cloud, Service Cloud on the Oracle side, um, Salesforce that we're going to show here as well. So again, let's kind of think of this from a day in the life scenario. You're a salesperson, you're very busy in the morning, you get your breakfast, you might have to drop the kids off at school or walk the dog, 
And the real, the real, the thing that you carry around with you, your mobile device, you're going to use that and interact to get information that you need to really start your day. So I'm going to actually do the voice to text or show demonstrate the voice to text feature of the chatbot. And so I can just start out by saying, what is due today? So I got to re-authenticate back to Salesforce. I'll get a little confirmation here that I'm good. When I go back, I'll see my tasks for the day. So based on what I, what I asked, what is due today, I got to call an account edge. I got to call Crystal and I got to call a guy named Steve Thomas. So let's see what now. So based on what I have due today, now I can get information, specific account information from, you know, the, the, the tasks that I have. So let's say I want to get account information for these folks that, uh, that are listed above. Get account info. Edge. So asking for the account information, I get an account profile back of Edge Communications, a main phone number, some various information that I can use that I now have been kind of given me a view of that, that 360 degree view of the customer. All these buttons right here are also can be um, utilized. That's part of it. Um, with the dialogue flow, any of those buttons can be used to get more information or that information can be get um, can be gained from just um, interacting with the chatbot by asking it exactly what you want. So before I place a call into Edge, I do want to know if there's any issues at the account. I don't want to call into, let's say, a, a hot account where they're, they're upset about their product or their service, whatever it might be. I would want to know that before I place a call into the account. So now I can say, get support tickets. Edge. So what this is showing here is Edge has submitted some support tickets, three of them, and this integration is actually pulling from a customer help desk or customer support ticketing system called Zendesk, and that's what Fishbowl actually uses for our software support. So again, I can click on any of these to dive into them a little bit more, but again, this is letting me know that there's some issues at the account. None of them look to be too severe, so again, as far as the account, calling into the account, um, at least you know that there's not any really big issues that would prevent a good opportunity to sell and have, have a conversation with the customer. So let's say you were able to call Crystal or Steve at Edge, you had a great meeting, and you know you want to, after that meeting, there's an opportunity to um, update the, uh, the value of an op opportunity that's already been into the system. So let's go ahead and use the chatbot to do that as well. Update an opportunity. Edge. So we see here that there's an opportunity at Edge Consulting for $20,000. Let's say that after that meeting, you're gonna um, update the opportunity amount. So I can use these buttons now to do that. And I'll update the opportunity amount and so let's say it went from 20,000 to 25,000. So I can enter that in. Let's say I also wanna add a note to this account. So let's say there's another person that I met there and I wanna make sure that I, that with this being able to update the account, expect, the revenue expected on the opportunity was driven by someone that I met that was new. So let's say yes and we're going to add a note to this. So we can add that note. So I'm done updating that one. And so great, so I met a new person, so I want to make sure that I get Steve's information into the system. So now let's go ahead and create a new contact. Create new tech, new contact. Snell. Steve. 
And then we can say or type his email address. This account is at Edge. And I can enter the phone number. And there we have it. So Steve Snow at Edge. I created a new contact for him. He was the person, the new person that I met at, at Edge that really helped me drive that opportunity up. We found out a little bit more about the opportunity. And now I have a new contact there with all his contact information entered. So let's say as well that in talking to Steve and, you know, obviously, you know, updating that opportunity, Steve also told me about a new product or initiative or new initiative that they have going on at Edge. So now I can create a new task to make sure to talk to Steve about that. Create task. Try that again. Create task. And then I'm going to just type, call Steve Snow about new software initiative. And I haven't started that. And I do want to say that it's due today. So I created that task. And let's just say that I'm looking for some more sales assets to make sure that I, when I call Steve, I know what to say about the new product, whatever it might be. So your marketing team might have some sales assets for you. There could be a call script or an email script. There could be a presentation or a demo. So for this example, I'm just going to ask for the call script. Get call script. Get call script. Edge. And there's my call script. So again, kind of showing you all the various things that a chatbot can really help you do. So you can update your opportunities, you can look at your tasks for the day, you can enter new contact information, you can set little reminders for yourself to follow up on information regarding customer and uh, account information that you recently found out or need to follow up on. So that's all great, but as we know for a lot of sales reps, a lot of what we do we also have to share with our managers. So obviously there, we have to provide clear visibility into you know, what, you know, what we're working on, what's our forecast, what's our pipeline. So let's show that now. So you ha you've had your meetings, you updated your forecasts and your opportunities, so now your manager, you're talking to your manager on the phone, and he wants to know what, uh, what your forecast is. What is my forecast? And the chatbot can get that very quickly. So as you're talking to your manager, you can share with them that you have uh, a pipeline of over $5 million. And, you know, you've already closed, you know, four million, over $4 million. So you're pretty close to hitting your pipe, which is good news. So now you also want to share the new opportunities that you're working on. So let's get that. Get my opportunities. Get my opportunities. So there you go. Those are all the opportunities that have been entered into the system. You know, it shows the probability, the one, if they've been one, one rate, everything associated with those opportunities that you've already created. So now you talk to your manager, you have showed him and given him your pipeline and forecast information. This is kind of the, the whole scenario of your day to really figure out and talk to customers, share information with your manager. Now you actually have time to sell and get, um, you know, call Steve that you entered earlier and the chatbot can help you get that as well. So let's go ahead and get that contact. Get contact. Steve. Steve. 
So there's Steve Snow that I entered. There's also some other Steves, but I know that that was the Steve Snow that I just entered. So now I can call Steve. I can use that, that call script. I can talk to him about that new initiative, that new opportunity for software, and hopefully create another opportunity today for that. So again, that shows kind of the interaction um, integrated with Salesforce to pull that information forward. Another scenario that I described is you're with that customer. So I'm going to show you another chatbot. And this is our Atlas chatbot that's been integrated with the business suite. As a reminder, a lot of interactions with chatbot can just start with help and it'll go through a list of questions that you can have. In this demo, I'm just going to share that I need product and pricing and availability information. So I'm just going to say, what is the price of AS54888? At this point, it's querying the backend system, and I find out that the price for product AS5488 is around $1,600. Okay, great. So meeting with the customer, customer's like, that's awesome. I actually want to now know how quickly could I get that product or part, so then I can ask what is the availability of that product or part. Okay, so the availability, there's four different warehouses that I can use. So now let's say I want to order a part. And I want to order 10. And the buttons, the UI buttons are displayed. So I can select Seattle. Let's say I'm real close to Seattle so I can get to my customer very quickly. And we'll deliver it to Oracle, confirm, and so I placed an order for those parts to go to the customer and I'm done. So again, going through the scenario of if I didn't have this chatbot, I had to call my help desk, get that information, ask for an order, enter it into the system, and again, that just takes more time to, you know, while your customer and make a sale. So those two scenarios really showing you Kind of a day in the life scenario of a, a sales rep on the go needing to get their tasks for the day update opportunities enter new contact information share opportunity and pipeline information with the manager as well as also getting real-time product pricing and availability information for the customers sterling yeah thanks jason so the oracle intelligent bots are part of the oracle autonomous mobile cloud enterprise and with those, you can use it quickly to build chat bots that let your customers engage in natural conversations with your business. And those are then deployable on websites, mobile apps, messaging apps, and digital voice assistants. So those Oracle intelligent bots are going to be able to extend and enhance the functionality for backend systems, delivering personalized and engaging experiences to each person that uses them. Also with those bots, an integrated feature of the autonomous mobile cloud enterprise is that you can develop intelligent bots that can create a more natural conversational user interface through text or speech to those systems. And by using AI and natural language processing, those are powered by neural networks and machine learning. So those bots can more easily detect what the user is trying to achieve with that intent that they, that they use and respond appropriately with information or results of transactions from their API connections to any of the backend applications and information sources. So the platform makes it simple and easy to build and train those intelligent bots without the need for specialist AI skills. And then the bots can be exposed through many chat and voice channels, a custom mobile app, or even your website. So the Oracle Intelligent Bots provide multiple, multiple natural language understanding training models so that they can predict user intents from the incoming bot requests and then accurately execute the required dialogue flow. And kind of related to that, building off there, Oracle's already a leader in this space. We've been recognized by the analysts at firms like Ovum, Forrester, and Gartner for their mobile app and chatbot development platform. And the analysts have all said that Oracle provides a robust yet easy to use and affordable development platform with low code options to develop and integrate the mobile apps and the chatbots together. Awesome. Thanks, Sterling. So what Sterling, just, you know, Oracle's had a chatbot and mobile platform out for a while now. They've already had some very success recognized by the analysts to really 
help customers from a kind of low code development perspective, build out these chatbots, integrate with backend systems, and really solve customer problems. And so Fishbowl has partnered with Oracle and is their leading chatbot development partner to really bring these chatbots to light and kind of show customers what's possible. So we've been an Oracle partner since 1999. We've done over 500 Oracle projects. We've been recognized already by Oracle for some of the work we've done on the chatbot side. We won the 2017 Oracle Modern CX Hackathon at Open World last year regarding one of our chatbots. I demoed some of the chatbots we've already built out, the sales chatbot that was integrated with Salesforce, as well as the product pricing and availability chatbot that, we, that we've built. We have many other chatbots that we've built out. A lot of that information can be found on our website. I mentioned Atlas, so um, the sales chatbot that I shared earlier, you know, again, just want to reiterate that we've taken what's available out of the box from an Oracle perspective and just really enhanced it. Integrated various user interfaces and backend systems, added the text to voice or the voice to text. Um, we've really taken the platform and extended it really help you organizations build those purpose-built chatbots. So really, how does it all work? So how do we integrate with the Oracle Autonomous Mobile Cloud and the chatbot um, feature? So again, what we tell customers is really think about it as just picking your interface channel. Where do you want your chatbot deployed? How do you want your customers to interact with your organization? What channel do you want to use? Again, that could be a collaboration system like Slack, it could be on a mobile device, it could be Facebook or a web or portal page. From there, a Node.js server gets deployed. That's kind of where our IP um, is housed and stored. We then, we then do our development against the Oracle Thomas Mobile Cloud. That's where we set up the dialogue flows, the intents, the utterances, as well as the backend integrations. So thinking about your backend integrations, those could be any of the Oracle applications that you have, including Sales Cloud or Service Cloud, as well as what we talked about today with Salesforce. So that could be a third-party system as well integrating that, pulling that information forward, as well as Zendesk. So we showed, we talked a little bit about that from a customer support perspective. And then you deliver it. So you have your dialogue, the customer's interacting, person's interacting with the chatbot, and the chatbot will get that information, deliver it to the experience that you're looking for, looking for from your mobile app, desktop app, or web browser. So how long does it take to get this, to get a chatbot deployed in your organization? So what we tell customers is really think about it in this flow. So really think about your use case or pain point and the business problem you're trying to solve. Then you make a case for a POC. Fishbowl and Oracle are very, uh, we're, we're set up to be very agile and help you launch POCs very quickly. If you make a case for a POC, we can build out a, uh, help you build out that POC for you um, based on the channel that you want to use. So again, it could be Facebook, it could be Slack, it could be a web browser or mobile do your integrations, where do you want that integration to come from to, to get other data to surface to the chatbot. You launch your POC, you collect your feedback, present your findings to the higher ups or management chain who's ever really gonna buy off on this, show them the value, and then you can launch your sales bot in about two months. And we've done this consistently with all our customers. Um, a lot of customers just wanna kinda dip their toe in the water to get started and then show that the chatbot can work show how much automation and efficiencies can be gained, and then they really take it from there and build out additional dialogues and intents and utterances to really help that chatbot be that virtual sales assistant within an organization. So why Oracle and Fishbowl? So we're kind of getting to the end here. I just kind of want to recap. Oracle provides that market-leading, industry-leading technology. So not only the, the chatbot framework where you can build and all, build out all your dialogue flows, and build the integrations, but it's really been, it's really that core key platform that's, that's been recognized by the analysts to have the capabilities from a low code perspective, but also including some of that advanced technology, machine learning, the AI, it just the bot will get smarter over time, and that's part of the Oracle platform. Fishbowl then partners with Oracle to really provide this jumpstart to help you get started very quickly. I showed you a couple flavors different demos of the, the chatbots that we've all already built out with the integrations that we have. And so we'll help you deploy not only the Oracle Mobile Cloud and the chatbot component um, that Oracle offers, but we'll also offer our Atlas chatbot, kind of the pre-built chatbot that 
that you're looking for to solve your various business problem, including sales enablement. And we've already had successes together. So we have multiple customers across various industries that are using chatbots today to help them better engage their customers, get, get, get their customers um, answers to their, to their questions, and really show you know, that, the customer, that the organization is listening to the customer. They're providing this 24 by seven engagement to help customers do business with them, um, you know, again, 24 by seven. So from a next steps perspective, it's really, it's really simple. Just think about your greatest pain, the opportunity for automation in your organization or a use case that you're looking to leverage a chatbot for. And then you can call, have a call with Oracle and Fishbowl to, to go into more of a, a purpose-built demo for your organization to get more information about what you're looking to solve and how a flow might uh, look within um, a chatbot for your organization, be it for sales enablement or customer service or whatever it might be, we can uh, set up more of that purpose-built call and demo for your organization. Wanted to include the contact information for uh, myself as well as Sterling, and you can reach out to us if you have any further questions regarding the capabilities of the technology as well as the, the solutions offers. I want to also leave you with some additional resources. We've built up a lot of various content to help you understand, you know, what chatbots can do, how they can help an organization. There's various demos that we've provided. I definitely encourage you to check that out.